<laughs> the, um, how's the ice cream go? You've had a pint of peanut butter ice cream. I'm eating the whole thing. Um, I feel sick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, peanut butter ice cream will do that to a man. Doesn't feel good. <laughs> I actually think me and him would be friends in school. How old are you? 35. Is it? Yeah, boy. Well, you're my age, 26. <laughs> No! <laughs> <laughs> it's good boy, you haven't got facial hair, you still look new. Yeah, I'm a new boy! <laughs> Art attack! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, you are on a sugar high! Oh. Never felt so alive. <laughs> uh, I, know that, I know this shit. Do you? Nandy. Who's Nandy? Nandy? I ain't telling you. Why are you being oh. stiff? Huh? Why are you being weird now? We I friends. have been stiff. These are our questions. We're not giving you the answers. No peeking. All right. You ain't looking at nothing. It's fine. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to just do that, and then I nearly killed you instead. That's a little that bit was a, my, my, That was the scariest moment of my fucking life. <laughs> yeah. In my mind, when I smacked it against the thing, <laughs> it just streamed down so you couldn't see anything. I didn't think... It'll topple over and kill some. <laughs> the next theme is like when people try cinnamon in a shepherd's pie. It shouldn't work, and it probably won't. It's Stacey Solomon and James Acaster. <laughs> <laughs> which one of us is cinnamon and which one's the shepherd's pie? Um, everyone likes you, so you're the shepherd's pie. All right, then. Whereas, whereas you're sweet and sexy. I'm, I'm happy either way with this. How was your lockdown? Good. Yeah. We did it together. <laughs> yeah, we, we went into lockdown together and we've been revising all year for this. <laughs> <laughs> we got ourselves a tent. With the kids. With the kids. With the kids and my partner. Yes. <laughs> that can make things a little bit awkward, but not when you're rolling with cinnamon here. Yeah, when well, you're rolling with old cinnamon knowledge, which is what I call myself in the quiz world. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. James and Stacey, what have you got as a, a team name? Cinnamon Knowledge and the Shepherd's Quizzer. <laughs> Shepherd's Quiz. <laughs> How long were you revising for this moment? <laughs> a whole year. <laughs> a year. And if I'm honest, we were in that tent before there was even a lockdown and You can over-revise. <laughs> Joe, well, 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 was... Was... Sorry, Maya, what are you snacking on? It's part one of the show. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of ham and cheese down here. There's a Ooh. lot of ham and cheese? Well, pepperoni, to be precise. Pepperoni? Yeah, and salami. Oh, what? It's quite a range. Wow, you got a full-on cheese ball. I asked you what uh, term was coined to describe Harry and Meghan moving to America. Did you get this? You did, of course. Megxit. Megxit. Yes, because it sounds like Brexit. Stacey, Megxit or...? I, I said Megxit. <laughs> I thought it might be Brary. <laughs> Brary? Yes. Brexit and Harry <laughs> together. <laughs> so we, 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 we agreed to disagree, but we went with Megxit first. I think you get a point there, really. And you got this, David, Maya? Joe Wicks asked you if you knew what the government's third COVID slogan was. Have you got it? Yeah. Kiss, cuddle, shag. <laughs> I was dubious about this answer. What did you think it might be? <laughs> like, don't kiss, don't cuddle and definitely don't shag. <laughs> well, the tent said differently. <laughs> okay, so act out Dominic Cummings' visit to Barnard Castle. Uh, I wanted you to fill in the blanks. So it was, I believe that in all circumstances I behaved blank and blank. What do you think? Properly and nicely. I mean, you're not far off in terms of the meaning, yeah. but incorrect. Uh, oh. What do you go for, James? Stacey? Like cinnamon and shepherd's pie. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you sound like a crime-fighting duo. Yeah. Mm. Uh, imagine if Cummins joined our ranks. Oh, oh. Mm. No, he'd really bring us down, I think. <laughs> yeah, but he'd be like the wild card on the force. <laughs> Doesn't play by the rules and we always have to apologise for <laughs> it. Or, or not apologise and throw it back in the public's face. <laughs> <laughs> It was annoying. I went there. I, on the same day, I went to get my eyes tested at Barnard Castle. There was loads of people who had the same idea. We had to queue up. <laughs> <laughs> we were all queuing behind him. We were like, give it... Come on, come on, come in. There's only one eye chart. we all got to use it. <laughs> Why don't put it on the side of the castle anyway? <laughs> Question four. Uh, these are all audience reviews for a film. I just want you to tell me what film. The cinema equivalent of having your teeth pulled. Oh. It was so loud that it hurt our ears. It also didn't make sense. It was stupid. Rubbish. Bang, bang, boom, boom, shoot, shoot. Some guys running in different directions, chasing something, some explosion. What a waste of time. Better watch Back to the Future again. <laughs> oh, God. Some people are horrible, aren't they? Some people are horrible, aren't they? Yeah. What a horrible thing to say about someone's film. Yeah. 
I'd love a bang bang boom. <laughs> yeah, you love a bang bang boom boom. We love bang bang boom boom films on bang, this. Bang, you do, boom, but don't boom, tell her husband. Shoot, shoot. <laughs> he knows he's been in the tent with me. He knows what I like. A bang bang boom boom. Yeah, he knows what I'll watch before don't I go forget, to bed. Shoot, shoot. Yeah, bang, bang, boom, boom, and then shoot, shoot at the end, obviously. <laughs> I asked you what film was being described by audience members with reviews such as it was the cinematic equivalent of having your teeth pulled. Uh, James, Stacey, you've gone with. Uh... James? Back to the Future. <laughs> but, but hang on, one of the quotes ended What a waste of time, better watch Back to the Future again. Yeah. Right, so you think it was someone was caught in a loop watching Back to the Future over and over again? <laughs> well, they went to watch it, they were, that was rubbish, and then by the end of the rant, they were like, I could be wrong, actually. I'd better watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> Doubting themselves. Joan Richie, you went with? Last Christmas or Tenet? Uh, mm. Tenet is the right answer. Oh, I never heard of no, Tenet. I've never heard of Tenet. Oh. It's the big Christopher Nolan thing. Didn't he direct Dunkirk, Christopher Nolan? He did, yeah. Well, which is it? What? what? Dunkirk or Tenet? I think I might be low on batteries because I can't... I'm... He directed Dunkirk. That's it. Then he went on and directed another film about three years after that one. What? <laughs> three years afterwards? No, Dunkirk, the film of Dunkirk. I'm not talking about the event, the actual So when withdrawal. do you think the film Dunkirk came out? Just sort of immediately before the lockdown. 2017. Really? <laughs> three years. <laughs> three years ago? Yeah. Why are we correcting David? Why don't we just let him think this is real and see how far we can prank him by the end of the show <laughs> into thinking that he's in a completely different year? <laughs> Thank you, Keith. Carol Baskin asked you if you knew what her trademark greeting was. Did you get this? Oh, yeah, we did get this, actually. What did you put? I didn't do a murder. <laughs> that is maybe one of her catchphrases. Yeah. What did you get? They're great. <laughs> I mean, I, like, see, yeah. I see where the mix-ups happened. <laughs> we haven't seen it. Tony the Tiger isn't in it. Mm. There's no reference to Frosty. Well, then I feel like it's, it shouldn't be called Tiger King, cos if Tony's not in it, the king isn't in it, is Thank he? You. <laughs> 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 Very true. Really good point, uh, kid. Yeah, that's, that's a good point well made. James, what did you write here? Hair transplant too. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking he's, he's only gone and got extensions. Hair transplant <laughs> too. Okay. Me, why don't you grow it long now? I quite like it like this. That seems like a waste. If you're going to get a transplant, just go for a full, like, a horse's mane or something. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely miss the If trick. they could do that, you know I would. What if there's nothing? Sometimes I'll look at the sky and think, what if that's... What if I am in the Truman <laughs> Show? <laughs> Why are we even <laughs> doing this? This is such bullshit. There's nothing up there. No, but I don't think it's I a don't. bad thing. <laughs> just, like, what is time? What is What space? if there's nothing? Christ, Stacey, what don't is... start on that. Don't pull that thread. No, but she has got a point. You she never know. I don't think I... this is the show for existential angst. Oh, no, I'm not angst it about it. I've just You're been... not angst. You just think there might be nothing and no such thing as time. Stop silencing her. Let her speak. <laughs> and we might find something out about the universe. I'm just saying, if you you know, when people are like, oh, you're late, and I'm like, no, I'm not, says who? Actually, I take that back. Let's move on. <laughs> just because you decided there was time. It's the yeah. producer of Loose Women, and you need to be there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. So Donald Trump tweeted, I won this election by a lot on the 7th of November, and uh, Twitter went, yeah, did you, though? He even put his own exclamation mark in after it. Mm. He knew he was lying. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you if you knew why Tristram Shapiro said he was mortified after a uh, mishap on Zoom. What did you get? Had he had a, a little um, hand shandy? <laughs> he had not had a hand shandy. He's one of the few people on Zoom that hadn't embarrassed himself in that way. Richard, you got this right. Yes, he said that an actor's apartment was a sorrowful affair. That is it. You didn't get an answer Whoa. for this at all. We were had wank. <laughs> Had wank, yeah. That... Yes, I thought it was the you man. You thought it was the... the man who had the wank. I know, he's not the man that had the wank. Why would you ask us about anyone else? <laughs> yeah. That's just, mad. Do you know just... what? You're mad. You're mad, mate. If you're asking someone who embarrassed himself on Zoom and you know there was a man who had a wank, you're mad for not making it him. <laughs> you're absolutely mad. We're not wrong here. <laughs> Doom scrolling is um, obsessively scrolling through an excessive amount of apocalyptic news. Yeah. So, yeah, 100%. Yeah. What, what did you guys get? Nothing? Um... Tinder at a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> that is now... That is what it should be called. Next, I asked you what uh, Gal Gadot and some of her celebrity friends did in a video. Did you get this? We said... They sang Imagine in 15 different keys. I mean, that's, that is specific. Uh, James Stacey? Yeah, Imagine. OK. Uh, sang you... Imagine, but it was shite. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it's fairly cringeworthy. If you listen very carefully, though, at the end, you can hear John Lennon turning his grave. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get the point. I was like, oh, this is cute, but why? Like, it doesn't... Why? It, no, it fixed coronavirus, don't you remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> they did that right at the beginning as well. Yeah. That's, like, early to, to go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Even now, I don't feel on the verge of texting anyone and going, do you want to do something that batshit? <laughs> <laughs> Could I just say, I am Jewish, so obviously... When James suggested this answer, I thought, well, what the hell do I know? It could well be this. <laughs> but now that everyone's saying Mariah, it seems a ridiculous yeah. answer. So you thought it might be the Bible and it was <laughs> God's biography. <laughs> you thought that might be in God's biography, where she gets... She gets proposed to and they go on a helicopter ride. Yes, because that, that God bit is of the a Bible. She. I don't know that bit of the Bible. I mean, I've not been to Sunday school in a while, but I think I, that would have stuck out. A lot of stuff happens in that book. It's who's got time to comb through it all. <laughs> I asked you why Laura Clark became the centre of attention in the sporting world back in September. What, are you, what have you written there, David? Djokovic hit a tennis ball at her. That is the right answer, but I'm interested, James and Stacey, you remember it differently. Well, you said September is a clue. You said, That's, what yeah. happens in September? So we were like, oh, it's like, it's um, sports day, egg and spoon race. Egg and spoon champ. You know, they, they would always do, like, a parent She race. does look as if she's doing an egg she and spoon. She looks like she's doing egg and spoon. <laughs> she's just been hit in the neck with a tennis ball. <laughs> I wanted to know why footballer Eric Dyer posted this image to his Instagram with the caption, the real man of the match. Uh, James and Stacey? He, he married, married a, a toilet. toilet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Incorrect. There's Wayne Lineker which I think he's only been kept alive for parts. <laughs> if he was in the crisp adverts, it'd be a very different story. <laughs> just... We got it. Uh, OK, uh, James Acaster, I've never seen you this excited. <sighs> I finally found what I'm good at in my life. Yeah. And yeah. it's this. 